uh, a software, a piece of software for uh, video broadcasting uh, called VMix. Uh, allows me to have the city of Pittsburgh behind me. I put the, the link in the chat room there. Uh, this really takes video broadcasting, podcasting to a new level. I mean, you can, uh, it's very simple. It's free. They have a paid version also, huh. uh, but it gives you the capability uh, with a little bit of work. If you can get a green screen behind you uh, with just some fabric from Joanne Fabrics or from Hobby Lobby or something like that, a uh, piece of light green cloth behind you, it allows you to uh, put any image behind you. It uh, allows you to even uh, run loops you know, which, uh, I do every now and then. And it's, uh, like I said, it's free. It's simple. It's not simple to use at first. You might have to get a little help at first, but, uh, there's a lot of moving parts to it, but it really, uh, V mix. It works real well. Yeah. And we're seeing the results here, uh, coming over it. And it looks like, uh, of course we're, we're bringing over uh, Google hangout. Um, but yeah, I don't see any tearing in that or anything from what you're doing. Are, are you doing, what are you doing lighting wise? <laughs> what does your rig look like? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five lights on me right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the important thing is to make sure you don't have a lot of shadows. Now, I know like like probably this one, and I know like a lot of my green screen I do with Final Cut, you know, uh, our green screen's right over there hanging. Again, it's fabric I got at Walmart years years and years ago. Um, but uh, I, tried, I tried a lot of things, and, and I had a lot of problems. A lot of things didn't work. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I found this. My partner uh, turned me on to this. And I've had no problems with it. I mean, I really like it. It looks really good. And it looks like it does the virtual set thing, too, which I know Wirecast is really big with that or the you're in the TriCast or anything. Um, so that that could be a lot of fun uh, to use. So um, You know, that makes that reminds me of uh, back around 2008 uh, when we were all just uh, breaking into the video thing and all the, the technology has just uh, improved dramatically since those days. I remember... Uh, shooting video that it was so choppy you couldn't even understand what was going on and yeah. we just uh you know i followed a little bit of your lead and then i went off on my own and it's just so much better these days yeah yeah and i love we really went like really separate directions on this too uh, mm -hmm. i know i started with uh boinks tv because it was included in uh, the mac heist bundles uh moving up over to wire wirecast introduced things to uh steven from the the tech buzz um, and, and I think we get great quality out of this. I mean, I just upgraded the computer so we can go full HD and, and we haven't had a lot of stutters that I've noticed, uh, ever since. Um, and, and, and tools like this, that they start you off free is pretty fantastic. And, and speaking of green screen, like when we first started doing green screens, probably around 2008, 2007, I remember it was a pain in the butt. You would have, uh, we would have this plugin for Final Cut called Conduit from from mm -hmm. dv garage uh, alex Lindsay's company actually um and and there were these notes and you would the nodes were like a different aspect of the image and you had to adjust the notes hmm. in order to get yeah. your green screen and get the tearing to go away we we almost and we had like a giant room we had a giant giant green screen coming up and like and onto the floor and everything and then and, and we never got a good green screen <laughs> off of it you'd always uh, lose them around uh, the feet we had all these giant lights around <laughs> never got it right a absolutely not um but we but again we did like one or two of them a year so we never had a lot of practice 